Aston Villa. Very big match tonight. Coming up to Villa Park, so it's, a, it's kind of still a grand occasion. You look at the, you look at the stadium; it's a, it's, a, it's a big place. But we come in here quite confident. What's your pre-match vibes? Pre-match vibes. I think um, Brentford fans were confident as fans. Talking to Villa fans, they're, they're not very confident. They give us a lot of respect here. I, I think I'm probably overstating the case actually. As you said, big stadium, big club, big support. Can we deal with it? We have in the past. You've got that little nagging feeling that they turn it on tonight. Happy with a point. Personally, come here, spend the win. So you've got, you've got the mighty, mighty Brentford in town tonight. Scary, but 2 1 Villa. Who, who do we need to look out for tonight? Uh, Jack Grealish. Is that it? Uh, Jonathan Codger. Jonathan Codger's just hitting a bit of form, so he's your man to watch. If we can get any of our midfielders with creativity to pop it into Jonathan, another header. But is there pressure on Bruce already? There's always pressure on Bruce because <laughs> he's a bit like Marmite. You either love him or you hate him. He's always under pressure, the boy is. You love him? Yeah, I do. I've got a lot of respect for him just because of what he's been through and he's sticking with the villa. So yeah, I respect the man. About Marmite. <laughs> I love Marmite as well. I'll eat anything. <laughs> about to head off to Villa Park. You nervous? No, I'm looking forward to it because I think Villa are a massive club, a fantastic club, great city, Birmingham. But what I've, what I've seen this season is what I've never ever seen from Brentford ever before. Is was playing with incredible style, with massive confidence. And I think if we go over the first 15 minutes of their frying a little bit, everything at us, I think if we can settle down and we can play, we can do what we did to Sheffield Wednesday, what we did to Wolfram, what we did to Stay. I think we can, we're just too good for these teams. What, what I've seen this season, we're incredible, we're a brilliant team. And we can, we can take them to shreds. I think we can beat them 2, 3, 1. And Villa, I'm, I'm not worried at all. I think if we're allowed to play, our, our touch, they can all control the ball, they can all play. We can win 3-1, I'm not worried at all. But if we don't, and we freeze, what does it matter? We're Brentford. Are you nervous? Not at all. What's happening in there tonight? Well, I think we're going to result. Let's have a win, but I don't think we're going to lose. Come on, you big. Come on, you. scored it was like the perfect smash and grab really uh, defended really really well apart from the goal where I'd like to see it again I think he got tackled from behind but they're getting a lot of decisions as you'd expect um, and Brentford, Brentford are always capable of, of nicking something on the break you're gonna get punished for mistakes here aren't you if you make mistakes with Grealish around yeah he will punish you Kodjia showed you know a bit of a slip at the back and he's, he's put the ball in the net I'd like to see it ball sticking a little bit more up top and I'd like to see us winning a few more second balls because they're all going to them at the moment. A couple of changes at half time or do you think he'll wait? 
I think he'll wait a few minutes and see how uh, how it goes, but then possibly. We don't want to make changes when we're behind. We need to no, do it when I we're. Think, I think uh, maybe uh, Ben Rama on for Sergi. Uh, I'd like to see Sergi step up. I've said that before, and I think I think it's, it's platforms like this where he needs to be doing it, and he's not quite at the moment. Quality player, but we need something a bit more. With a bit more, someone with a bit more impact the second half. Villa are definitely the best team we've played all season. Great, they've got a very good tempo. We've been tested. Um, unfortunately, the midfield just seems to be getting overrun. We're not really playing our fluid football through the middle. Um, but when we have had the ball, got down the wings, we need to get Alan Hutton a little bit. But um, yeah, we're, we're really getting tested tonight. Tough game, so maybe a couple of subs might change up. Ben Rama, Canos could be one, but yeah, tough game. We're really in it tonight. Really. It's got his tactics pretty spot on so far, the Villa manager. You know, they're really pushing us high up the pitch. We, we need, how, we, how are we going to swing this back our way? Well, I said it might be, uh, it might be subs that will turn around. Maybe Canos comes off, Ben Rama, get Alan, at, uh, Alan Hutton. Um, could be tough, but uh, Woods could be another option. You know, throwing them in tough games to come on because we're really up against it. But Woods, composed player, look for it. That might be take off pressure. Maybe Makocho from the clouds. Maybe those changes will make a difference. Second half prediction. That first half, tough, really tough. So uh, take a draw now, but I'm hoping Watkins will get one and we'll win 2 1.